Well, this is a 1989 Chevy. And today I'm gonna change the brake booster. And I'm gonna change the master cylinder. It's all coming in one little kit, like 140 bucks, let's say. I've been having trouble with this system since I've ever owned a truck. It's always had a little spongy brake. So all the cylinders have been changed in the last four or five years. I bled them a hundred times. So I'm just going to change everything and keep going until I finally get a hard brake pedal. So I'm underneath the truck and you can barely see it up in here but I got that pin off that holds the master cylinder or the brake booster and then in here I got one, two, three, if you could see that, four bolts. So this clip, this is the clip I took off, see it? You had to get the screwdriver in there to get that brake thing off that's up in there. So this is what I'm using to get up here in that spot right up there to get them bolts off because it ain't easy. And they don't want to make it easy. So I got the four bolts off. One, two, three, four. Got the brake thing off. I should be able to pull it out. Well, that's all loosened up. See it? Now we're going to get these things in here. If you don't have one of these brake line tools, get one because I'll tell you, I had a lot of trouble in the past. You get the right tool, it makes a big difference. This is already done by someone else years ago. We also got to get these two bolts off, one here and one right there. So we got them loose. And get this out of here. That's my, uh, get this out of here, put this on the side, this should come right out, like that. Well, this is the system I bought, I got everything together, it was like 130 bucks, and I got this uh, master cylinder bleeding kit because every time I do a master cylinder you got to bench bleed it. So first I'm going to take this apart and go from there. So first I'm going to get this off. Take that off. Alright. We look in here we got that little piston thing that fell out of the last one so I think I'm going to put this in first. First thing I'm going to do is get this back in there, make sure everything's out of my way, like that. So I got the four bolts back on, one, two, three, four, which is a nightmare. That's the pin that goes up in there, hook that up and I'll be done got this kit this is to bleed our brakes so it's just plastic I blew through here to make sure there's no dust or anything in there I put this in like that to keep the fluid coming back in like that and I'm gonna get my fluid and go up about halfway just like that just about halfway. That's good. And let me show you what the directions say. The directions say slowly press in and release the master piston using short strokes three quarter of an inch to one inch. Never stroke piston more than one inch. Repeat this step until resistance to piston movement is firm and less than one eighth inch. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get the file and push the 
That's about it, three quarters of an inch. Slowly push in again, and it's starting to bubble up three quarters of an inch. You're supposed to do this. I can feel the bubbles coming out. This is what you call bench bleeding. So that's it. I let it set for a while. I'm going to just do it a little bit again. And it's firm. So I think that's it. Like that. And put this in here. Well, I got everything tightened up now, so now I'm going to start bleeding the brakes. Well, we're behind the back wheel, and I got the wrench there, and what I'm going to do is get this, this hose and shove it up in there, and I'll put the light on when I get, get better, and then put it in this jar. That's going to tell me how much fluid's coming out. I'm gonna open it up and when that jar fills I should uh, be in good shape. Alright, I keep filling up the front brakes. I'm gonna go in the back and look and see what's going on. So that's filling up. Let's see if it's clear. See that's clear. That means that that's new fluid. So that that brake should be bled pretty good. So now I'm just gonna shut her off and do the passenger side. Yeah, that's that. So that's the passenger side. And you can see that's coming out clear. So I know that's new fluid. So now I'm gonna go to the left front rear wheel. So that's it. I put this on about three months ago. I bled them by gravity. That didn't work out that well. I had my nephew come and pump them. And then I tried to suction pump to get it out. Made sure my back brakes were up on the drum brakes tight. So it came back 90, 95%. It used to be maybe 40 or 45. So that's it. I'm happy with it so far. I like to put new parts on the truck every time I get a chance.